one of the rules with Bernstein's synthesis is the following. When you apply Bernstein's synthesis, you're guaranteed to preserve dependencies in your relation subschema. So the decomposition will always preserve dependencies. Now the question is, is the decomposition lossless when you apply Bernstein synthesis? Well, let's take a look. Here I've created the table with the distinguished variables, and as you recall, we're trying to get at least one row. All we need is one row with all distinguished variables, and indeed, it will be lossless. So I created subschema S with distinguished variables A, B, C, and subschema T with distinguished variables B, C, D, E. Now we go through our functional dependencies and see whether or not we can add any more distinguished variables. So we go through A function determines B. We don't have, well, we've got a little B, so not, we can't add any here. A function determines C. We already have the C's there, that column's filled out, so that's not going to help. DE function determines C. Well, we have a DE match here, but nothing there. DE function determines B. We, we could create a match, but we already have those attributes. Finally, we do C function determines D. Here we've matched on the left-hand side. We've got at least one A on the right-hand side, none there. So we can add an A right there. Now this, as you can see, did not generate a row of all distinguished variables. But since we added one distinguished variable, we need to repeat the process. We go back, A function determines B, but we can't add any right-hand side B, so we skip that. A function determines C, we can't add any more A's here. DE function determines C, we can't add any more A's there. DE function determines B, we can't add any A's there. And C function determines D, we can't add any A's there. So at this point, this decomposition is lossy. Okay? Now what we observe is when you apply Bernstein's synthesis, it guarantees that it will preserve dependencies, but it may or may not be lossless. Now there's another little theorem. Now if you look at the notes, I give more details, but I'll show you how this theorem works. And this theorem only applies in the context of Bernstein's synthesis. So don't think here's a theorem that can apply in all different situations when you do a decomposition. The theorem goes like this. If you have a decomposition, and if you add the key to the decomposition, it will indeed be lossless. Now the proof is given in the notes, but I'll just show you how it works here. So I kept the key up here, which are attributes A, E, and here's exactly what we're going to do. We'll add another subschema. Let's see, S, T, we'll put it U. And it'll have the attributes from the key, AE. So by adding another relation subschema which corresponds to the key, this indeed will be lossless. And let's take a look. Okay, we start off with AE, and we go through the functional dependencies to see if we can fill up at least one row with all distinguished variables. Let's see if we can do that. A function determines B, so we have two A's, one A on the right hand side, one blank, so we can add an A there. A function determines C, so we have two A's, an A here, but no A here, so we can add an A there. We have DE function determines C, nothing there we can do. DE function determines B, nothing there. But C function determines D. So we have two A's here, an A here, and nothing here, so we can add an A there. And as you can see, we have a row of all distinguished variables, therefore this relation decomposition is now lossless because it now includes these three tables. Okay?
So that's Bernstein's synthesis. Once again, three aspects. Make sure you have a minimal cover. You take each functional pency and it goes into its own respective subschema. And then you try to combine those subschemas. That'll guarantee that it'll preserve dependencies, but it may or may not be lossless. Now you can check to see if it's lossless or lossy. If it is lossy, then all you have to do is add the key or one of the keys as a relational subschema. That will make it lossless. Now once again, this only works in the context of Bernstein's synthesis. Thanks a lot. I hope this helps. Bye-bye.